Hello there. Welcome to my video. I'm going to the BTS concert in Las Vegas and I have a little over a week before I go. But one of the nights I will not be staying in a hotel or in an Airbnb because I'm cheap. <laughs> so I'm gonna car camp. I have like my insulation for my windows and I've got an air mattress and pillows and everything. It's very comfortable. I've got string lights, but I made this really hastily when I was in Joshua Tree. We're gonna try again and we're gonna make it neater. And we're gonna make it so that it actually stays on the windows really nicely. Come along. And then I'll show you guys BTS. Okay, this is what I used last time. That's how much each of them are. I also want to have an extra layer between the reflectors and the cloth. Oh, here it is. Oh wow, it's kind of expensive. Each sheet is almost $10. I'll just freeze. Am I too cheap to get an Airbnb? I'm not gonna spend that much. <laughs> The first thing I did was prep my car for camping in general. I had just gone to Joshua Tree a couple weeks ago and honestly didn't clean out my car afterwards so there was a lot of dirt and dust hanging around. It was pretty easy to clean though since vacuums nowadays are so portable. Once I finished vacuuming, I got started on the insulation part itself. Like I said earlier, when I was in Joshua Tree with a friend, I tried out car camping then but didn't really make a great effort to make the insulation very neat. This time around, I tried harder to make all of my insulation sheets neater and fit better into the windows so that I can reuse it in the future. Like last time, I used insulation and duct tape, and this time I actually introduced black fabric and suction cups, which I'll explain later. I also wanted to add another layer to the insulation to increase what's called the R value of each sheet, but didn't end up doing it because it was so expensive. I linked a Home Depot simple explanation of the significance of the R value below. Basically what it means is that if there are more layers resisting the heat flow, that means that the inside has better climate control capabilities. A good tip is to measure the insulation sheets to be just a little bit bigger than the windows themselves so that you can slide them into the slots between the windows and the car frame. But for the windshield and the rear window, it's good to have suction cups because otherwise they just fall down. Last shape. Oh no, I have the windshield. <laughs> and the windshield was such a pain in the ass to do because there were so many pieces sticking off the window, like sensors, my mirror, um, and the foil itself wasn't big enough to just cut the right shape out of a single piece. So I basically used a bunch of small pieces and taped them up into a Frankenstein piece of insulation. And once I measured out half of it, I just took it out of the car, folded it in half, and traced out the other side. It makes it a lot easier to do it that way once you're out of the car. Yeah, I also realized how damn clumsy I am because I cut my hand twice pretty badly while I was doing this. Oh my god. What the f- Anyways, that's the last of the blood, but now we're inside. Here's all the suction cups. I actually didn't get enough for the rear window, so I ended up taping that up when I was camping. Um, and then this is the fabric that I got on Amazon. Got about three yards of this black fabric and immediately realized that this was not enough for all of my insulation. But the reason why I got black fabric was because when I was camping in Joshua Tree, I noticed that a lot of the car campers actually covered one side of their insulation with a black fabric so that it gives this illusion that it's just a tinted window. It doesn't look like a space 
tin can stuck against your window. So it, it's just kind of a nicer look from the outside. And it also makes it less obvious that someone's camping on the inside. And then I started putting the suction cups in using this stupid stabbing method. Don't do it how I did it. Just cut it. Just cut it. Be patient. Because otherwise you will cut your fingers like I did. Mother Ah, Anyways, the cut was pretty deep, so this is the last of my clips, but this is how I prepped for Vegas. And finally, it was time to go. And I'm kind of glad that I'm exhausted because I'm scared of sleeping tonight, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and I think that just being exhausted will help me fall asleep better. So, good luck to me. Every time I listen to So What by BTS, an RM's verse comes on and he goes, I don't want to die right now. I don't want to, I don't want to fight right now. I always get so shocked because I think he's saying, I want to die right now. I want to, I want to right now and the first time I listened to the song it was just such a freaking shock that I had to google it and check that they are not literally saying I want to die right now I want to fuck right now <laughs> but that was such a shock <laughs> and yeah so that's how studying for the BTS concert is going parking in Vegas so obviously we're gonna go skating yo Vegas is like a one out of ten for skating there's sidewalks but the sidewalk bumps are so deep and bumpy where the hell am I Oh, it's so strange. 
strange. <laughs> Okay, so these ones I ran out of the suction cup things, so I just duct taped it down. <laughs> this is what I look like right now. This is the reality of car camping when you don't own a big white van. I can't sit up. <laughs> I'm actually pretty warm in here. Like, I think I'm going to take off this sweater. The insulation seems very effective. Also, it's only like... It's probably like 50 degrees outside. It's not cold at all. So that's probably why I'm not cold. See you guys at the concert. Actually, no, I'll probably film some more tomorrow because it'll probably be a very nice sunrise if I wake up in time for it because I am exhausted. I've been awake since like 5 a.m. I kind of wish I was camp, I was camp kicking. I was car camping like all the nights, but my aunt is coming tomorrow on a flight and that's why I am here earlier. See you tomorrow! Good morning. Thank God for insulation because I just touched the window to see, just to like look outside. And it's so hot. The window is so hot.
As a solo camper, being right next to the bathroom was kind of nice because going to the bathroom is scary. 